All right, let's go through these one at a time. I think if you can feel good about going through these and you're gonna be all good for the test, all right? So look at number one. All right, this is the plan for Andre's cell phone. So he starts off at $35 a month. Okay, so we know he's gonna at least pay that much. So you got 35 and then we're gonna add, add what? It's gonna be plus 50 cents per minute of call time. Andre makes 45 minutes of calls this month and 275 texts. And it says that the texts are actually free, so we don't have to worry about that 275. How much does he have to pay his phone company? All right, so it's gonna do $35 plus, okay, free texts we don't have to worry about, again, plus 50 cents per minute. That's what we gotta figure out. So 50 cents per minute, and he did, and he talked for 45 minutes. So we're gonna put 50.50, .50, or just 0.5, either way, times, how many minutes? It was 45 minutes. 45 minutes, okay? So, when we have our order of operations, and we're gonna, you have 35 plus 0.5 times 45. Remember to do your multiplication first. So that's gonna be 22.5, and then we're gonna add the 35, right? Okay? And that's going to be, add it all up together, 35.0 plus 22.5, and that's going to be 57.5. So that's how much, that's how we'll figure out that question right there. Okay, number two. All right, so high school students are going on a field trip. The table below shows the relationship between the number of adult volunteers assigned to the assigned to a company different groups of students going on the on the trip. All right. So we have our X that represents the number of adults and our Y that represents the number of students. And they want us to write the equation that models the relationship between X and Y. All right. What do you think you should do? Well, anytime you see a table like this, it's always good to go ahead and figure out what your constant proportionality is. All right, and you remember what your, remember the formula for constant of proportionality? It's K equals Y divided by X. All right, so let's use that formula. And uh, we can just use some mental math here. All right, so Y divided by X. So 20 divided by four is five. 30 divided by six is five. 35 divided by seven is five. 45 divided by nine is five. So we do have a constant. All right, and our constant is five. Okay, so write an equation that models the relationship. Now, remember, this is what we use to figure out what the constant is, and then we're gonna use the equation in the form of y equals kx to write our equation. So since we have figured out that our k, our, our constant in this situation is five, we're just gonna plug that five right in here. I'm sorry, right in for the k. So our equation that we are going to end up with for our final answer is y equals 5x. y equals 5x. Okay? All right, let's go down to the next one. Okay, number three. Rachel buys paint for her artwork. The graph shows the relationship between the number of bottles of paint she buys, which is represented by X, and the ounces of paint that she buys, or that she has, represented by Y. Write an equation in the form of Y equals KX that can be used to model the relationship. All right, so you got to kind of have to pay attention to your line here. Okay, first of all, do we know that this is a proportional relationship? Yes, we do, because why? How do we know? How do we know this is a, is a proportional relationship? Well, because this line passes through zero, right? So now we just need to find a couple of exact points on this on this graph. How about two and 10, okay? See that two and 10 lines up as a perfect order pair there, so, all right? So I'll put two and 10. So we're just gonna find a point on the line Remember, your this is going to be our y value. Our second number in the order pair is always our y, and our first number is always our x, right? Because we have our 
our x-axis going this way. We have our y-axis going this way. So 2 is on the x-axis and 10 is on the y, all right? So 2, 10. And remember, we're going to still just use this same formula. Uh, constant equals y divided by x. So this is, cause this is just going to be k equals 10 divided by 2. So our constant is 5. And if we're going to plug it into the equation, we're going to end up with y equals 5x. Same answer as we got on the previous question. Didn't mean to do that. It just happened to be that way. Okay. All right. Let's look at number four. All right. So this one, we're going to use a proportion for number four. Okay. And with a proportion, as long as you just set everything up, just be careful about how you set it up. And then the rest of it's easy. Okay. Um, so the actual distance between two towns is 250 miles. Randall creates a scale map so that the distance between the towns is four inches. So it's the distance is four inches on the map and then 250 miles in real life. So that's what we're going to start with. That's our, that's our ratio, okay? Four inches over, and we said what? 250 miles. Remember how to set the proportion? No. Just gonna write two ratios that are equivalent. Okay, now what is the distance on the map between two locations with an actual distance of 400 miles? Okay, all right, look at the unit that they give us. They give it in miles. So remember, when we're doing a proportion, our two ratios have to have the same units in the same places. All right, so this has to be inches in the numerator and this has to be miles. You can probably hear Captain over here. He's begging for food. Captain, be quiet. Don't talk back to me. All right, 400 miles. So then we're going to plug in our N right here. This is what we're trying to... This is our unknown. This is what we're trying to figure out. So now we're just going to cross multiply. Boom. Boom. Okay. So 250 times N gives me 250... N, write my equal sign, 4 times 400 gives me 1,600 or 1,600, right? And then, now what do we need to do to get the this N by itself? Well, we're just going to, if this is 250 times N, or N times 250, we're going to do the inverse operation of multiplication, and we're going to divide, we're going to divide by whatever n is being multiplied with because we want the n to be by itself. And whatever I do on one side, I have to do the same thing on the other side. Okay? So these two 50s cancel each other out. Leaves me with my n. And then, let's see, let's go to our calculator here. One second. So we had 1,600 divided by 250. I hear you, Captain. I'm almost done. All right, 6.4. 6.4. So N equals 6.4. So that's 6.4 inches, okay? It's going to go right in there in the inches place. Oh, my goodness. Please. Can you not see here, Captain, that I am in the middle of creating a study guide video for my 96 math students? I mean, come on, man. Just be patient, all right? Okay, I'm going to make a second video in just a little bit, okay? I think there will actually be a total of four videos. So here's part one of four. Bye.